When the Kansas City Athletics were moved to Oakland by Charles Finley, the city was really in desperate straits because not being a major league city means a lot, not only from a public relations standpoint, but from an economic standpoint. So they tried to find somebody in Kansas City that would be willing to put up the money for an expansion baseball team. And I raised my hand and said I'd be willing to put in a million dollars. Mr. Kaufman was the only one who stepped up to the plate that day, and $1 million wasn't nearly enough to buy an expansion franchise. The prospect of getting Major League Baseball back to Kansas City was looking bleak. Ernie Mill, the sports editor of the Kansas City Star, and Earl Smith said, we need to show the American League that there's somebody in Kansas City that is somewhat interested, at least in baseball, and financially can afford it. Could we use your name and tell them that we do deserve a team and that you'd probably be willing to certainly look into it. So in order to help them, I agreed to it. At his wife's urging, he also gave them a letter of credit for $6 million, and that was enough to convince the American League owners to grant Kansas City an expansion franchise. Once the offer was official, numerous local syndicates stepped up wanting to buy the team, but none offered to include Mr. Kaufman in the deal. I, who started it all, was going to be left out in the cold and my salesmanship rose up. So I got on the airplane and I called on the other owners of the American League and told them that I was the one that should receive the expansion club. And subsequently, on January the 19th of 1968, it was awarded to me. Uh, we're very pleased indeed that uh, Mr. Kaufman and his gracious wife are here with us today. And we know we're going to have real good, invigorating baseball for Kansas City. <laughs>